I made this little mounting arm for the Sony Action Cam, but right now I have to use a wrench to lock everything down, and that's kind of a nuisance, and it has no class. Welcome back to Black Bear Forge. This adjustable arm is going to keep the camera out of the traffic pattern. There's no legs of tripods sticking where I've got to walk. I don't have to worry about shoehorning it in around power hammers and things like that. But using a wrench to adjust it is just sort of a nuisance. And as I say, it has no class. So today I thought we would make a thumb screw to replace this bolt. I'm starting this with a piece of 5 sixteenths by 1 inch flat bar. And I want a 3 8 tenon on here that will become the screw. So I need to let it upset as I work the edge and not worry about trying to keep it in line. Plus as I round it, it's going to round up better. Or it will add some mass to make that closer to 3 eighths. So that's a good start right there. Then I'm going to start cleaning that up with a set of tenoning dies in the guillotine tool, the smithing magician, and that has a 3 eighths space. So that will create just the right size tenon. And you want to work square, then octagon. Then finally round. Now this may not leave a perfect 3 8 round for your bolt or your threaded stud because it is a little bit of a rough tool. So you'd be better off going oversized here than you are trying to go right down to size and then by the time you file it clean and round you end up too small. So if you're a little oversized you're better. Another good tool to use for this is a spring tenoning swedge, and I can do this under the power hammer or the treadle hammer. And this leaves a much more exact tenon size that I'm not worried about needing to file the size so much. This is just made from two pieces of 4140. The holes were made by drilling between the two blocks, and then the relief was filed out a little bit. So that's it for that end for now. Next thing I want to do is cut it to length. I want to leave enough to get a good thumb screw area, or th thumb area, I should say. Done the screw part. That is that. that got just a little bit bowed in cutting it, so I'm going to straighten it out some. And I'm going to put it in a heading tool. Getting a good shoulder on this isn't that important for this, but for my next step, I'm going to want it supported by something like this, so it's Easier to just go ahead and let it make the shoulder. So by putting it in the heading plate and driving it down over the Pritchell hole here, try to turn that so it's facing the camera, 
I'm going to just cut right down the middle, oh, about a third of the way in. Just like that. I'm going to take a handset. I'm just going to push this over a little bit both ways. It's kind of funky for now, but we're going to spread those lobes out next. And that should give us a nice kind of butterfly shape. Actually, I think I'm going to knock these sharp corners off the back first. That's better. And this would be completely functional just like this. If that's what you like, you can just leave it. I'm just going to do this over a really big sweat or fuller with a rounding hammer. I can spread these kind of equally. There will definitely be some filing to be done here. This should leave a real nice transition in this direction so that it's thin up here but not a sharp shelf or cut or anything. But I really think that's about it till we file and then we'll cut some threads in it. And this fairly simple project will be done at that point. Before I get too serious about filing, I want to make sure this is 3 8 or slightly over. And it's just a hair bigger than 3 8 so I'll be able to file that and clean it up. But I think I want to start with our the profile of the wings. You could certainly make a little pattern and trace it on here, but that would be way more than I think this little thumb screw needs. I'm really very happy with that profile. The next thing I want to do is file this surface and get that even. I want kind of a little scoop in there, and for that I'll use a half round file. Most of this is being done with a half round file. Now 
This is why I use the rounding hammer and the fuller to sort of start this shape, which will make for less filing. And that's pretty much all the filing we need to do. That's going to make a real nice thumb screw. Now I need to cut it to length. I need less than a half inch of threads on this ultimately, but I don't need to thread it all. So I think I'm going to cut it off about three quarters of an inch and that should be fine. Now to protect where I filed this so I don't get it all gouged up with the vise, I'm going to clamp it in some leather. And then I want to file a little bevel around the top so it goes in the hole easier and it'll be a little bit easier to thread. Check it with my drill gauge again until that 3 8 size just goes over it. So I'm just going to thread this for 3 8 16 threads. Toughest part's always getting the die started. We want to make sure you go down square. Like I say, I really only need to do about three eighths or half inch of threads there, and that's it. And that is our completed thumb screw. We could blacken if we want, but I think I'm going to leave it with the file finish. It'll patina very nicely over the, the years and probably look nice and antique -y by, by the time winter gets here. Well, we can get rid of this inconvenient hex head bolt and replace it with our nice thumb screw. And while I'm here, I'll fold that up against the wall because I think I'm done with it for today. That's a nice simple project for today. It's really going to class up the camera bracket and make it look like it belongs in a blacksmith shop since the rest of it was just a fabrication job and there wasn't any blacksmithing except for this one little thumb screw. So I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you can give it a thumbs up. Love it if you hit that subscribe button. Stick around, watch a few more of the videos. But then make time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses, and we'll see you for the next one.